as well as the standard page, there are several other types of pages that we can create in the page tree. For example, the back end user page is a type of page that can only be accessed in the front end by a user who is logged into the back end. This is especially useful if you want to show content to a specific group of users. In this case, anybody who has access to the back end of the installation. Next, we have the shortcut page type, and this allows us to create a shortcut to another page in our installation. Next we have the mount point page type, which is represented with the red icon. A mount point is a representation of an existing page structure found somewhere else in the installation. For example, you might have a collection of pages three or four levels down that you want to show at the top level of your page tree. Then we have the external link page type, which is fairly self-explanatory. This allows us to create links to external websites and have a link present in our page tree. Next we have folders. Folders are containers that we use to store items and they're not pages. For example, if you have the news extension installed, you will likely create a folder that will contain all of your site's news stories in them. You can also use folders to store content elements you want to reuse on multiple pages. The recycler is very similar to the folder in that it's not a page and instead it is used as a container for pages. For example, if I wanted to tell other members of my team that I wanted to delete the projects folder, I could drag the projects page into the recycler so that other members of the team would know that I wish to remove it. And lastly, we have the page separator. This isn't a page and it doesn't have any behavior inside it. Instead, it is used as a way of breaking up your content in the page tree. It's not visible in the front end either.